Hello friends, I am Dr. Subhash Karande, Assistant Professor, Department of Geography. Today we learn about the important question of the remote sensing and aerial photography. These questions are very useful for the different university examination, competitive examination. So let's go to learn about the important questions. Question number two, write short notes. One, scope and development of remote sensing. In this question, we must write down scope in various field of remote sensing, history of remote sensing, present status of remote sensing and future perspective of the remote sensing. Second, types of resolution in remote sensing. In remote sensing, four important resolutions should be mentioned in this question. One is the spatial resolution, spectral resolution, temporal resolution and radiometric resolution. Third, electromagnetic spectrum. In this question, write down definition of electromagnetic spectrum. Various spectrum band of electromagnetic radiation like gamma ray, x-ray, ultraviolet, visible rays, microwaves, infrared and radio waves. Explain electromagnetic energy. In these questions, write down definition of electromagnetic energy and characteristic of electromagnetic energy. Fifth, overlap and side lap. What is the meaning of overlap? What is the meaning of side lap? And importance of overlap and side lap in the aerial photography should be mentioned in this answer. Next, geometry of aerial photographs. In aerial photographs, there are the different types of the terms which is the important in the photogrammetry like uh, fiducial marks, fiducial axis, flying height, then overlap, side lap, lap exposure station, nadir point, plumb line, etc. should be mentioned in the geometry of aerial photographs. Relief displacement. In this question, should we write down what is the relief displacement? and importance of relief displacement in the photogrammetry. Next, parallax. In this question should we write down meaning of the parallax and importance of the parallax in the photogrammetry. Nine, earth observation satellite. What is the meaning of earth observation satellite? What is the application of the earth observation satellite in satellite remote sensing and some examples of the earth observation satellite of different countries. Communication satellite. What is the meaning of communication satellite? What is the application of communication satellite? And some examples of the communication satellite launched by different countries. Navigational satellite. What is the meaning of navigation satellite? What is the application of navigation satellite? And some examples of the navigation satellite launched by the different countries in the world. Landsat. Introduction about the Landsat. Special or temporal radiometric resolution of the Landsat. Some characteristics of the 1 to 9 different Landsat satellite and what is the application of the Landsat satellite should be mentioned in this question. Next, question number 3, short answer. 1. Describe electromagnetic radiation interaction with atmosphere and earth surface. In this question should be write down EMR interaction with the atmosphere and earth surface like a scattering, absorption, transmission, emittance and reflections. Question number two, describe platform of remote sensing. In a remote sensing, they are also use different types of platform. What is the meaning of the platform? What is the need of the platform? and types of the platform like a ground based platform, airborne platform and space borne platform should be mentioned in this question. Three, explain thermal remote sensing. In this question should be write down what is the meaning of thermal remote sensing and what is the application of the thermal remote sensing in the satellite remote sensing. Fourth, explain microwave remote sensing. What is the meaning of microwave remote sensing? And what is the application of the microwave remote sensing techniques 
in the remote sensing. Fifth, difference between aerial photograph and photogrammetry. So, firstly, you should mention what is the aerial photographs and what is the aerial photogrammetry. So, what is the characteristics of photographs and what is the characteristics of photogrammetry? What is the application or use of the aerial photographs and photogrammetry? And finally, should we mention what is the basic difference between aerial photographs and photogrammetry? Six, what is a stereoscope? Firstly, should we write down meaning of the stereoscopy, importance of the stereoscopy and some important types of stereoscope like a pocket stereoscope, mirror stereoscope, zoom stereoscope, etc. Seven, explain types of aerial cameras. So, what is firstly mentioned, what is the need of the aerial cameras and then types of the aerial cameras like a metric cameras, single cameras, multispectral cameras, trimetragon cameras, panoramic cameras, strip cameras, large format cameras and digital cameras also. Eight, explain types of photographic. Eight, explain types of photographic films. So, in this question should be mentioned what is the photographic film and why photographic films are also used in aerial photography. So, should be mentioned different types of the photographic films. Next, nine, explain sun synchronous satellite. In this question should be mentioned what is the sun synchronous satellite, what is the application of the sun synchronous satellite and what is some are the examples of the sun synchronous satellite. Ten, explain geostationary satellite. In this question should we write down meaning of the geostationary satellite, application of the geostationary satellite and some examples of the geostationary satellite. In 11, explain types of sensor. What is the meaning of sensor? And there are the two types of sensor. One is the active and second is the passive should be mentioned in this question. 12, describe remote sensing scenario in Indian context. So, should we mention history of remote sensing in India, development of the remote sensing in India, major achievement of the ISRO in the field of remote sensing and current status of the remote sensing in India also mentioned in this question. 13. Give brief information of quick bird satellite. Firstly, introduction about the quick bird satellite, then resolution of the quick bird satellite, some characteristics of the quick bird satellite and lastly, application of the quick bird satellite should be mentioned in this question. Question number 4, broad question. One question is equal for the 50 marks. One, what is the remote sensing? Give the detail of remote sensing application in various fields. In this question should be mentioned meaning of the remote sensing, definition of the remote sensing, some importance of the remote sensing, then uh, brief history also remote sensing should be mentioned here. Then application of the remote sensing in various fields including geography and other also should be mentioned in this question. Question number two, describe the types of aerial photographs. Firstly mention what is the meaning of aerial photographs, then different types of aerial photographs based on the angle, then coverage of the photographs, then uh, scale of the photographs. So, here are the some vertical, oblique, tilted, convergent, trimetragon also mentioned in the uh, describe or types of the aerial photographs. Third, describe the elements of photo interpretation. So, what is the photo interpretation? What is the need of the photo interpretation should be mentioned here. Then some key elements of the photo interpretation like a tone, size, shape, texture, pattern, shadow, location and association and some examples also these things should be mentioned in the elements of the photo interpretation. Fourth, explain orbital and sensor characteristics of IRS. In this question should be mentioned introduction about the IRS and ISRO, then resolution, characteristics and application of the IRS satellite should be mentioned different or the different series of the IRS satellite in this question and uh, finally 
what is the current status or scenario of the IRS satellite system should be mentioned here. Dear friend, if you learn about these questions, if you happy about this question, so definitely like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.